guys and welcome back to matchup today I'm gonna be reacting to some of that's amazing's best trick shots and explaining some behind the scenes about it Because I'm usually there when they're filming these so I have some behind the scenes information I can kind of spill during this video, but before we get on to the video Make sure if you still haven't hit that subscribe button hit it down below also hit that like button and now let's go watch some of that's amazing's coolest trick shots I'm actually gonna use that's amazing's TikTok because they post a lot of their coolest shots on there So that's what I'm gonna be reacting to this first shot was filmed I think it was in perfect timing could be wrong don't know exactly but this one oh my gosh like I could never have the patience to do this he has to reset all the dominoes every single time he messes up who has the patience for that other than Tommy like he's like the only person I know who could do this and Matthew because he also does this kind of stuff this next shot took literally days for them to film it maybe even weeks like it took so long I remember they would go to the park in the morning and come home at like 9 p.m. at night like I'm dead serious Matthew he had cuts all over his like upper thigh from swinging on the swing for like days like I'm not even kidding that kid had cuts from a swing this next shot is just super satisfying I actually filmed it they didn't even end up using my clips whatever Tommy but um it's really satisfying when it comes out and goes into each of the cups I really like it this shot is over the house this is our old house and I really didn't like our old house this one Matthew I think actually scored on the first try but they weren't filming there's multiple times where that's amazing score something and they're like shoot the camera isn't on or shoot the camera's blurry we have to redo it and then everyone's like oh my goodness these next shots are a bunch of satisfying shots the phone charger one especially that one went huge I think it was on their shorts channel or something. Oh my gosh, everyone loves the phone charger ones. I love them too. They're just so unique. Like, you just don't see it. Like, I don't know how Tommy came up with it. None of the phones actually broke. We, like, got a couple scratches on some, but that's literally it. Like, we didn't, end, like, break any of them, which is actually crazy. I don't know how that happened, but it did. Okay, these next couple shots were actually in That's Amazing's 50 Ways to Score a Half Court Shot video. And I actually wasn't there for this video, sadly. I was at college, and they actually ended ended up driving to Florida in the dead of winter to film this video because they wanted to film it outdoors. They literally drove 20 hours to Florida, my whole family, minus me because <laughs> college, but they all went there. They said it was one of the best trips they've ever had, which I'm kind of salty about because I wasn't there. So that's kind of rude. That's saying that the best trip was when I wasn't there. Anyways, um, I heard it was really fun. They said they really enjoyed it. So they would just wake up and then they would go film this video all day and then go home to their like Airbnb in Florida. Like that sounds so nice. Just get to go film a basketball video in Florida I would do that but no Maggie was in school doing homework they were too but there was was online but whatever this next shot is really satisfying I don't know again how Tommy comes up with these shots like I can't do this how do you think of attaching like a tape roll to a fan and spinning it these are a compilation actually of a couple of shots the bat flip is really satisfying with Colin ping pong shot is insane though going through that small and it was spinning so fast like when you look in real life it was going so fast I don't know how you did it and then of course are classic soccer shots those are always really cool the squirrel trick shot this is classic we were actually all inside watching it we all kind of have a fear of squirrels my whole family does I really don't know why we just do especially Matthew Matthew is terrified of squirrels it is so funny but so we were all inside while this was happening and we were all like cheering and it was really exciting the squirrel was probably like what the heck but it was cool this one is probably the most satisfying like shots these like balloon popping ones oh my goodness that video did so well and all their shots in this in this video are like actually insane they're so cool how do you come up with this stuff like that's just I, but this is what they do like every single day they come up with random shots okay this one was filmed in my old bedroom I literally got kicked out of my bedroom for nine days because Tommy did the locked in my room until I can score this impossible trick shot I don't know how in the world Tommy ended up scoring it I thought he wasn't ever gonna make it honestly I'm pretty um pessimistic when it comes to shots because I don't know I feel like they're impossible and then Tommy's like no they're not and then he scores it I literally had to sleep in his room for the week so it was literally me Isabel Matthew Colin and Owen in one room did not like that this one insane I think this should have been level 100 in their level 1 to 100 video and I know a lot of you guys agreed with that the holes in the boomerang are literally so tiny you have to like it had to be the most perfect timing ever and like the dart every time it like hits the boomerang and not in the right spot like 
bounces off. Like, I remember it almost hit me in the foot. I think it hit me in the foot once, which is not fun. This shot is cool. It's like the wiffle ball into a stick. That's also really hard because the holes are so tiny. So you have to get it literally perfectly in order for it to go. I don't think this one took super long for Tommy. Um, I think I was actually outside with the little boys when this, I, I was outside when he scored the shot. And I was like, what? Cause he started cheering. I didn't even know he was filming it, but he scored it. Okay. This one, when they flipped the nickel, that was crazy. I remember Matthew did that for so long, just flipping nickels over and over and over again. I was like, what is this man doing? I'm always just sitting there like eating lunch and Matthew's like on the other side of the table, like with the camera out doing this random trick shot. And I'm like, what are you doing? Like, how are you gonna score this? But they always do somehow. This one took so much luck. Um, okay, this next one's own Colin doing some dice stacking. This is what Colin is definitely most known for because he was on TV shows for it. He was on Live with Kelly and Ryan and then Little Big Shots for dice stacking. He was on our local news station for dice stacking. This man's a legend. I don't know how to do point stacks still and I'm how old? 19? And he's was like six when he first learned how to point stack, which is like doing it in the air. Still don't know how to do it. Okay, this one is in there. What is that video called? It are one take trick shots. This is one take trick shots too. Fun fact, I was in this video. I had to sit in my car, cause you can see my car in this. My shot was in the car. I don't know if it's in this TikTok, but these ones, oh my goodness. This video took weeks to do. Like we were in quarantine at this point, so it didn't really matter cause we just had online school. But we would just film this all day. Mine was the easiest shot. I just had to catch a pair of car keys. I sat in my car for probably like 80 hours when we filmed okay maybe not 80 hours maybe like 50 or took so long oh my laundry is done i'm gonna go get my laundry i'll be right back okay i'm back my laundry was still soaked so i have to redry it continuing on these next shots are in school trick shots which is actually one of my favorite videos ever i thought this video was executed super well i was actually there during pretty much the entirety of them filming this video we filmed part of it at xavier and then the other part we filmed at a local elementary school which was really nice of the teachers to offer to let us film there just so we had like the actual like classroom setting in the background it was really fun to film honestly and i just think it's a really good video it did super well on their channel oh my goodness this next one was this is a major throwback this was when i think i was like a freshman in high school or sophomore in high school they did this like catapulting thing they did it with matthew's friend from elementary school and he was there for like four straight days poor guy like every single day doing it over and over again the thing snapped so many times and like, you just couldn't score it and then one day he couldn't come so they were like maggie can you just step in because we wanted to just keep doing it like until they scored it and so i stepped in for the day and we actually scored it when i was there which i felt really bad about because maddie's friend was there so long like trying to help everyone and like get in the video and stuff and then we scored it when he wasn't there unfortunately but that one it, it took them so long to do i was only there for like an hour before we scored it so luckily i wasn't there for a long time because my patience level is not very good to be like filming for that long what is this shot why do i not remember this shot is this in a video oh what i don't remember ever seeing this shot i have no idea what video this is in maybe like ping pong oh it missed a cup so this is a blooper of it but it's really satisfying see like another contraption tommy made where are you getting these ideas from oh my goodness this one this triple tower something or other matthew called it something matthew was doing this for so many days and i blew up on tiktok with it this one took a really long time i think it was over quarantine these next shots are actually one of my favorite ones i don't know how he came up with this i've said that a million times i just genuinely don't know what goes on inside his brain he not only has to land the cap flip but it has to be like a cup to land the ping pong ball in too so it's literally it's like extra hard this next shot was filmed over the summer in our kitchen when i was making dinner and and I literally could not make it because they were standing in front of all the pots and pan shelves that I needed to get in and all the spices and all the stuff. And I was like, Matthew and Tommy, can you literally pick any other spot to film this video? No, the lighting's the best here. And I was like, okay, well, you're not gonna score the shot. It's gonna take you forever. So why are you just standing there filming the shot? And of course I scored because they're amazing. Then these are like their phone charger ones in the latest video. Like, I don't know how we didn't break a million of these phones when we were filming this. We didn't. I never broke it with my shot. I don't think he broke it with any of these. It definitely 
got a couple scratches on it, but like that's about it. Not like even on the screen. It's like on the side. And it wasn't like scratches, it was like little little marks, just little markings. And that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed me kind of giving you guys some behind the scenes of their videos. It's really cool. I love their That's Amazing's content. So original, so unique. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and if you want to check out some of my other videos, there will be another one on the screen for you to watch after this. And we will see you guys next week Wednesday at 4 p.m. Central. Bye guys!